In the 3D printing community, we're always chasing the next idea. A new product, a new design, or an even better iteration. It's in our nature to move forward. But what happens when you're forced to take a step back? I've been 3D printing for a little over six months now, and recently I realized my ideas were getting more ambitious, bigger, and more complex. My A1 mini printer has been the perfect setup for a hobbyist like me, but its small print bed started to feel limiting as I dreamed up larger projects. Naturally, the solution would be to upgrade to a bigger printer, but I can't, because I'm moving. Well, not immediately, about six months from now but it's close enough that I don't want to invest in more gear right now. So instead, I decided to scale back, refocus on the kinds of projects that are manageable with the setup I do have. Smaller, simpler, but still meaningful. This was my original SSD holder for two Samsung T7 drives. I made it in Blender using just basic shapes and software tools. At the time, I thought it was amazing, and in a way, it was. It was the beginning of my journey into 3D printing. But now with everything I've learned, from trial and error, books, courses, and you guys, and with Fusion 360 in my toolkit, I wanted to see what a redesign would look like. All right, let's see. First, the thickness. It always looked a bit too chunky, so let's slim it down for a more compact profile. Nice. Next, let's remove the supports. Originally, they were meant to hold the SSDs in place without rattling, but with a slight upward curve in the design, the entire product would look so much cleaner and also not have a rattling problem. Already looking better. Then came the cable managers. Simple, functional, and integrated. And while we're at it, let's make it accessible from both sides. Nice! And why not design it so it can be used vertically, horizontally, or even with a cap as a protective case? Boom, this looks awesome. Now let's make a two bay and a four bay version. Optional caps, modular add-ons, so anyone could use this and not feel limited by its functionality or design. Perfect and finished. I just wanted to let you know. More than anything, this redesign is a reflection of how far I've come. I've learned about tolerances, clearances, and the fact that this only needed one print is a testament to that. I thought about print orientation, ease of use, I added magnets, designed in parts, all with intention. From a distance, the design might look the same, but to me, every small tweak is a sign of growth. Revisiting old project gives us something rare, a clear before and after snapshot of who we were and who we are now. Not just as designers, but as people. Our tastes evolve, our skills sharpen. So if you're into 3D printing, whether you're new, old, experienced, or somewhere in between, go back and experiment on something you've done before. Redesign it and see what you'd do differently. You'd be surprised at how much you change and how much you do different. My name is Jackie and this is Jackie Create, where I document my journey into 3D printing in the most beautiful and authentic way possible. So if that sounds up your alley, please consider giving this video a like, comment, and subscribe for more. It really helps the channel and it really helps me. Thank you so much and until next time, happy printing.